What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today I'm going to be hopping back on the Razer E325 project. My buddy Tuan just texted me that he is doing a night ride in two days and I want to take this thing out for the first time. So I am determined to finish this project within the next two days. Uh, so today I'm going to work on mounting the battery, making space for it on the lower tray and the disc brake conversion. Yes, I know that the E300 and E325 chassis come with drum brakes and it does not have a disc brake caliper mount. So I'm gonna see what I gotta fab up today. Let's get started. All right, got the battery fitted. So what I ended up doing was cutting the welds off the front of the lower brace, and then I bent the metal down so I can slip the battery in this way. And then the front of the 11 inch long battery actually tucks under the frame. Lower brace actually carries the weight of the battery. Uh, I just added some huge zip ties up front just to sandwich it more in place and keep it from bending down anymore. And uh, the back of the battery actually fits really nice back here. You see, if you just had like a eight inch long or a nine inch long battery, you might be able to get away with fitting it in the tray without modifying that. But just working with what I got, I know it's a little bit of a ratchet build, but I'm trying to ride this thing in two days. So this is also a temporary setup. I might get a Cabo scooter in the near future. Let me know what you think about that. But anyway, the top of the battery fits nice and flush against the frame here. Um, there's just a layer of foam under it that's keeping it propped up right now. And I added that just to have additional protection. I don't want it sitting on the metal brace. I just wanted something to absorb the vibrations to add some protection to the battery for the meantime. The top cover is looking a lot cleaner. With the whole thing got fresh layer of grip tape. Let me know what you guys think of the look. I think it looks cleaner that way rather than the Razer logo and then polished aluminum. And um, with it propped on there, I noticed that there is actually a decent amount of space on top of the controller. Since the back of this slopes up, there's a gap over here in this area that I can actually tuck all that wiring. So I'm gonna, redo all of this right now and see if I can get everything to fit nice and flush under the cover.
And here's how all the controller wiring turned out. I ended up flipping the controller the other way and bending the mounting bracket 90 degrees, which allowed me to lower it about half an inch and make space for all the harness and connectors to be in between the frame, which is actually working out because this is where the top cover slopes up. So this is actually an empty space currently. This is where the original motor was mounted. And then all the wiring just tucks up on this side now, which looks pretty clean with the stand up. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. As you see, fully functional. And then this is the 160 millimeter mountain bike uh, rotor. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount the brake caliper. I'm thinking I'm going to have it go on the bottom side like this somehow. I'm gonna have to fab up a bracket and potentially have to weld it on the inside. Uh, luckily, it looks like the factory cable is gonna work. So I'm glad I don't have to purchase another cable. Luckily, I have a spare fork laying around that I use as a front ski for an MX650. And obviously it's not gonna need a front brake, so I'm gonna cut off the original bracket right at the welds. And then we're going to use this as a baseline for a bracket to fab up onto this thing. And here's how I'm planning on having the brake caliper mounted. As you see, the factory cable does reach in this position. And I just have it bolted onto the MX650 bracket that I cut off, which I'm planning on having welded on the inside of the frame. So you see the brake pads line up with the rotor. And the caliper mount is slotted on both sides. So I could loosen these two Allen bolts and rotate it accordingly. So the pads line up perfectly against the rotor. Just took a wire brush wheel to all the welding surfaces to grind it down to bare metal, get it ready for my buddy Justin to weld tomorrow. Hopefully he can get it done on time so I can get this thing ready for a ride. I just added a simple handlebar mount flashlight that I usually use for my mountain bikes since I am planning on using this for a night ride coming up. And then we're going to throw on some LED lighting all around the frame just to spice things up a little bit. All right guys, well this is still a rough draft, but as you can see, the scooter is starting to come together. I just have the cover sitting on top. I didn't want to bolt it on just yet, so my buddy Justin can have access to the rear portion of the frame to weld the caliper bracket on, so we can get this thing in riding condition by tomorrow to do the initial testing. But if you found today's video helpful or useful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, some of my rides, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.